deal with my anxiety or that ex that never goes away? Answer, trick question, my anxiety is that ex that never fucking goes away. She is a complete control freak and for a while I thought that was okay. I thought that she was just loving me so much that she didn't want to share me with anyone else, not even myself. But what I failed to realize was that she was just really trying to keep me in a box so I could be her plaything whenever she felt like it. My anxiety is a magician. She knows how to pull rabbits out of hats, makes happiness disappear, and turns nothings into the end of the world. While all these things are pretty impressive, her favorite party trick is when I'm lying in bed awake at 3 a.m. She creeps in and makes me think of that stupid thing I did or said six months ago. And after the trick is over, it's so amazing, I'm left speechless for days, maybe even weeks. When I lost my grandmother, my, my anxiety invited depression over and they became cinephiles playing all the movies where I am yelling frustrated with my sick grandmother, convincing me that I am what caused her passing. The sickness did not take her, but the tone of voice I took with her in final months, words I let roll off my tongue like bullets in a Tarantino movie, film did. My anxiety and her new friend depression always want to hang out now, dragging me into a threesome I do not wish to be a part of. But to be truthful, although I do not enjoy their company, I am just content with the fact that they have not invited anyone else to this relationship. Question. If me, my anxiety, and depression are all locked in a room, who makes it out? Answer. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like me.